We are on our way to the Avocos. Yesterday, Fabio got us all checked in with customs and they actually couldn't believe how perfectly the paperwork was filled out. There is a relatively new online system where you have to fill out all of the information yourself. So I did it in Fort Lauderdale where we had good internet and then printed everything out. I had our travel health visas, our negative COVID tests, and we were good to go. The Abacos are a 120 mile chain of islands surrounding the Sea of Abaco in the northern part of the Bahamas. This area was devastated by Hurricane Dorian in 2019, but we've heard they're recovering quite well and eager for visitors to return. The barrier islands are known for beautiful beaches and stunning reefs, and we can't wait to start exploring. Luckily, we have great weather and are enjoying some amazing upwind sailing. Yes, catamarans can sail upwind. We left West End yesterday and headed to Mangrove Key, just 25 nautical miles, and anchored there. We had to motor the whole way, there was absolutely no wind. And now we are headed east and we're hoping to make it to Manjack Key by tonight in the Abacos. We're going to stay there tomorrow and explore a bit. We've heard there's some great snorkeling. And then we're going to head to Green Turtle Key to anchor for the northerly that's supposed to come in and get hopefully an alive SIM card because right now we have no internet. But this sail is fantastic. We've got 15 knots of wind. We're going eight knots, even with our holy sail upwind, even though some people think you can't sail upwind in a catamaran. And it's just great. Coming up on our first waypoint at Little Sail Key. Originally, we were gonna turn south from here, but it's really southeast, and the wind is coming from the southeast at like between 15 and 17 knots. So we're actually gonna keep going further east until it gets too shallow, and then tack uh, directly south. When it gets too shallow in that direction, we'll have to head southeast. And at that point, we'll have to motor because we'll be heading directly into, you know, 15, 17 knot winds. But at least we've been able to sail for the past two and a half hours and it's just been great. We're sailing 29 degrees to a current wind angle. We have to negotiate this very narrow waterway and the wind is coming really from our nose. But, uh, so we started one engine and uh, we have the sails up, uh, really sheeted in as much as possible. We're doing 6.2 knots on with 13 knots of wind. And we have the engine running at 1600 RPMs. Uh, not ideal, but uh, in about, about five nautical miles, we should be able to tack again and have a decent wind end. So the engine is off, we're sailing at uh, 7.4 knots and 13 knots of wind. We have an apparent wind angle of 42 degrees, 41 degrees, 40 degrees. We are making 7.5, so we're doing okay. Eventually, for the last um, five miles or so, maybe ten miles, we're gonna have to motor because it's straight in the wind into a very narrow channel. But we're doing great so far. Nice work. Thank you. A 
after making our final tack, we have been having the most magical sail. The wind is between 10 and 12 knots and we're going between 6 and 7 and a half knots. The water is flat and we are just gliding along. It's so beautiful. I spotted first turtle, some birds, and the water is just a beautiful blue. So happy to be here. We just anchored at Crab Key. We didn't make it all the way down to Man Jack, but this is a protected spot and we are taking Yoda to shore for the first time in three days. Excited! If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. We want to give a huge thanks to our initial group of patrons. We are so grateful for your support. If you'd like access to exclusive patron-only updates and additional content, check out the Harbors Unknown Patreon community. Are you happy? Are you happy? a little dove outside our window this morning. She's all by her lonesome. I think she just stopped for a rest. How do you feel about that bird, Fabio? She's nice, as long as she doesn't poop on deck, I guess. <laughs> Yoda finally noticed the dove. <laughs> no way, Yoda. No, you're not going to go scare that little dovey. What's going on, fam? Ah, we're racing. <laughs> Mono hole behind us, leaving it in the dust, upwind. They say a catamaran can go out upwind. They can. Even with our holy sail. Even our holy sails. The secret is daggerboards. Daggerboard. Whoever says daggerboards don't help. They didn't sell the boat with daggerboards. Right. So what's the wind? The wind is 16 knots. We're doing 8-3. Uh, the apparent wind angle is 52 degrees. We're headed to Manjack Keys. Manjack Keys. So, apparent wind angle 43. 42, the wind is shifting a little bit. Today it's just uh, 16 nautical miles or so. Yeah. Now to 12 knots, we're still making seven. The wind angle is 40. Tracking like a, like a champ. The boat is a champ. That's what she was made for. Not being at the dock, for God's sakes, chugging miles. What happened? You're crazy. Even with the holy sail, we're still making good ground. Are we winning? We're winning so far. But I'm hand steering. Ah. A race is a race. We're making good progress. Every time there's a little puff of wind, we're trying to go upwind a little more because it's a narrow channel and we have a very, very narrow space to go by. And we're doing it. Just every time we make a little more progress towards the wind. That's great. How'd the race end up? We won, like, I can't even see that boat anymore. It's out there, we get like three miles from it. And now we're going by another cat, we send the power. 
and another one ahead of us and we're gonna tuck in about three miles from now we're gonna tuck in into main jack there's a storm coming so perfect time We spent a couple days at Manjack Key working on the boat and exploring the mangrove trails with the dinghy. This morning we're moving spots. We're going from Manjack Key to uh, Green Turtle Key in search of internet. It's just like four nautical miles from where we are. So we're motoring over there and we're making some beans while the engine is running and hopefully we can get internet today. The BTC office has not been reconstructed since Hurricane Dorian wreaked havoc on the island, so we weren't able to find a SIM card. There is a beautiful bay next to the town and reconstruction efforts are in full swing. We've got some big ambitions today. We are walking over to the ocean side of Green Turtle Key and we have our free diving gear, our spear pole, and we're gonna go and um, snorkel the reefs and see if we can find any fish or lobster. Let's see. First we gotta find it. <laughs> Follow the sign. Looks like we're going the right way. There's lots of rebuilding going on, so that's a great sign. Looks like they're building stuff out of concrete too. And there's the ocean. Not too much farther. Yeah, it does look rather choppy. Huh? It does look rather choppy. Yeah. Yeah. The sand is so soft. It feels awesome on my feet. We're walking a little bit down the beach because it's a little bit rough here. So it looks calmer up ahead. We found a spot to go in and we're gearing up and we're going to go and see what we can find. There really weren't any fish out there. We saw some parrotfish, some small little tropical fish. The reef is beautiful, which is great to see. But when we were swimming out there, I was thinking, I don't really know if this is the best idea. We're swimming out into the Atlantic Ocean with current, and if we actually caught a fish, we would have to swim it back to the beach, trailing blood, and water's known to have lots of sharks. So, Sometimes it takes actually kind of going through the motion to realize that something is a bad idea. <laughs> anyway, there was nothing. No, yeah. no fish, no lobster, there was no conch, nothing. Water completely defeated. No bedtime of the day, you know. We're definitely going to need, I think, some local knowledge on spots where to find fish. Yeah, so far we haven't seen anything. <laughs> Join us next week as we make our way through the notorious Whale Key Cut headed to Marsh Harbor on Great Abaco. Formerly a vibrant cruising hub, what remains in Dorian's wake are essential services like provisions and a live cell phone store and friendly people working hard to rebuild the community. We also had the good fortune to witness special guests during a memorial service. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.